Before I begin, I want to recognize the loss, once again, of two brothers who should still be with us today. The rail collision in South Carolina has resulted in the deaths of two crew members, one a member of our union. My sincere thoughts and prayers are with their family and the passengers recovering from the collision. Events like this must be stopped, and our safety culture must change to ensure every member returns home safely at the end of the day. On January 25th, our sheet metal brothers and sisters celebrated 130 years of being organized. That's a history to be proud of in all of our smart crafts and industries. But times are changing at a rapid pace, and we cannot exist in the past. To move ahead, we need to look ahead. And that is by reaching out to our communities and forging new partnerships and coalitions to amplify our collective voice. This is how we raise our image and our visibility with our friends and families and neighbors. In April, many of us will be taking part in our inaugural month of community action. Events are being planned from coast to coast. We will be cleaning up, building, planning, right in our own neighborhoods, giving our times to groups and causes who will, in turn, stand with us. I ask that each of us take time out of our busy schedules to lend a hand in whatever your local is doing. Our month of community action will show we are the same good folks and we are part of their neighborhood. We stand for the common good of our local communities and are part of what makes them work. I look forward to joining you in April as we reconnect with our local roots. Thank you for making our union strong.